Welcome back to The Big Show. It's Alex Belfield talking to the biggest stars. And one of my favourite people ever is a legend. He's a star. He's still at the top of his game. And it's always nice to talk to Ken Dodd. How are you? By Jove, young Alex. And how, how fit and frisky. You know, you've lost weight, son. You've lost about <laughs> two stone. And that's only off your earlobes. <laughs> but you look very well. You look very tatty hilarious. Thank you very much. And uh, these, 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 these tatty jeans you're wearing, they're, <laughs> they're wearing well. So, uh, What's wrong with them? Are you breaking them in for someone? <laughs> Ken, how are you? It's always nice to talk to you. Each year we have these seminars and I come and see your show and I get to see you again and you're still doing gangbusters across the UK. It must be nice being you. I, I feel quite, uh, yes, quite plumptious. Uh, yes, it's, uh, we're still on this ongoing tour. People say, how long does the tour last for? And, you know, <laughs> what, time, what time can you be there? It's, um, we get, here we are sort of in, in Leicester and then we move on to, oh, all over the place, Mansfield and Newark and the Midlands and then uh, down the Southwest, we go uh, way down Torquay Way, and then I'll tell you where we are going. Um, we're going to Brighton, and uh, a place I've always wanted to play, Brighton, um, because it's uh, it's the home really of lots and lots of uh, theatre people, lots of show business people live in uh, in Brighton. So it, it's nice to go there, and they have uh, I believe in Brighton they have a Bohemian audience. So I shall uh, <laughs> I shall uh, look forward to going, uh, trying, uh, tickling all these Bohemians. Yeah. The thing about you is there's no point mentioning place names because sooner or later you'll turn up. Uh, I was a turn up. I'm not a turn up. I'm not a a carrot either. I'll leave that to Jasper. uh, No, I go touring all over the place and uh, I enjoy it. I'm a gigster, you see. I do do gigs, one night stands, one night all they can stand. And I go all over the uh, country and you you see different places and uh, people. Yeah, it's great. And different dialects, you know. Last time I saw you was at Christmas, and you looked about 35 on stage. How do you manage that? The doctor said, how old are you? I said, well, I'm approaching 50. He said, from which direction? <laughs> but people say, how old are you? I said, well, I think I'm 35. I think when you get on the stage there, there's a thing called doctor show business. And doctor show business, is it, uh, it's really like, a, like having a whole box of vitamin pills. They, uh, you really do, you, you turn yourself on. People say, what turns you on, Ken? Well, I've got this little knob on the back of my neck. And it's, uh, it seemed to work. Yeah. <laughs> and people say that theatre's struggling right now and they can't get people through the doors, but you don't seem to have a problem. What's the secret? I, I don't think that's correct. I think people are turning more to show business now than ever did before in this uh, these, uh, these uh, economic uh, times. Uh, I think people are going for entertainment more than ever before. I, I don't think uh, theatres are suffering all that much. No, a good show will always uh, pull a good audience. Now I need your advice. How are you dealing with the credit no, crunch? No, 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 Alex. It's 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 a psychiatrist you need <laughs> for help. No, no. People people in your people in your position, and that's a very strange position. I can tell you um, how you can do that with your big toe. I don't know, but. Uh, how am I coping with the credit crunch? I thought it was a chocolate bar, but it's. Uh, I'm doing quite well. Yes, okay. Um, as I say, show business. Uh, well, our our show business is doing very well because people love to laugh. Um, You're not personally you. having to cut back or anything. No, 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 no. I wouldn't. Have, no, no, no. I'd never have that done. I, no, I, I believe it's very painful. Uh, no, I think you you have to just uh, take things a bit easier. Um, don't uh, don't don't splash out on too many uh, Aston Martins. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, everybody's got to hold their nerve. Uh, Economise by all means. You know, you you must cut, cut down on your drinking. Uh, I see you cut down on your eating. <laughs> so that's all right. So you're drinking now, and uh, because I can see all the gravy down your front. Uh, <laughs> And you personally, how are you? Because I always worry about you. Me, I'm I'm fizzing like a bottle of pop at the cork out. <laughs> I'm quite, 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 quite in good, fairly good condition. For a, for a man of 103, I feel marvellous. Anything less than that in the mornings, I feel terrible. <laughs> but no, I'm okay. Fine. fine. And do you like the summer? Because you can go out there sunbathing. Yes, indeed. Yes, I woke up. I got my knotted handkerchief all ready. <laughs> I'm, I shall be out there and uh, get him in knees brown. Yes, I look for. I look the warm weather's lovely, isn't it? Smashing super, marvellous. Why? Who, who wants to go abroad? No. no. <laughs> this, I think that's one. That's one of the good, uh, good uh, things about the credit crunch is that people are tending to spend their holidays in Britain, which is great news for everybody. Certainly, for people in show business. Uh, 
our seaside shows are now coming back again. Blackpool is booming. Um, all, all Eastbourne is we're going there. We're going to playing Eastbourne, um, Eastbourne and uh, Worthing. They're my favourite stamping grounds down there south. And then on to uh, Devon, even Cornwall. We'll go any. I'll go anywhere where there's, where there's an audience. And two classic Skegness and uh, Blackpool as well. The usual uh, Skeggy. Oh, go, go, go to Skeggy. I go there. It's so bracing. I go there to get my teeth done every year. <laughs> uh, we're going to, uh, as I said, yes, uh, Blackpool, of course, is my uh, my ancestral seat there at the Grand. We play the Grand, beautiful theatre. And, uh, well, I mean, recently we saw, we saw a beautiful theatre last week. We were up in Glasgow, did two nights in Glasgow, and uh, the, the, um, the pavilion there, beautiful theatre. And the um, the decor, and uh, it's, it's real, real, a real British music hall variety theatre. Uh, we're going to the Isle of Man, we're going back to the Isle of Man to uh, uh, another date uh, in the autumn to the Villa Marina, which has all been, I believe it's all been done up, done up. <laughs> so we want to go and see the Villa Marina. Yeah, yeah, theatres, I love theatres, they're live audiences. There's, there's no greater experience than slaving over a hot audience. <laughs> and I'm not giving away any secrets, but you're a great patriot. You love the United Kingdom, don't you? Ah, yes, oh, yes, this is it. This is the, the finest, the greatest country on earth, this uh, Great Britain, because it is, it is great, great Britain. And uh, yeah, wonderful. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. And one thing that I am sad about: you've ruined my Christmas this year because I won't get to see you in Nottingham. Uh, no, no, Nottingham. Uh, no, they, we won't be playing it this year. They've uh, they've given the date to uh, to somebody else. So uh, I'll have to just uh, make do with. Uh, Playing around in the Pacifery, if you might pardon the expression, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll play around. We'll, we'll play Mansfield and Derby and uh, and, and Skeggy. So uh, we're bound to bound to meet up with all the people from Nottingham. It is a great disappointment, this, uh, but there you are. It's sad though because that's where you started in '54, isn't yeah, it? Indeed, I did indeed. Yes, I started uh, Nottingham Empire uh, on the site where where the concert hall is now, but old Nottingham Empire, uh, September 1954. Yeah. So they're booked up 350 days, we can't get you in? Something like that, something like that. It's, it's, uh, yeah. yeah, it's a big disappointment. I'll tell you this, it's their loss because we love you and it's always great to see Ken Dodd live. You can find out more at www.kendodshows.co.uk. All these dates are on there through the rest of the year. Thank you for talking to me again. I want you to know I love you, I think you're marvellous, and thanks for talking to me. Thank you, young Alex, and uh, I hope to start paying you soon for this. Because <laughs> <laughs> these, these, these jeans of yours are a little bit frayed around there. What is wrong with them? Well, I don't know. That, that, for the hole in the knee, isn't it? <laughs> I know it's fashionable, but I'm sure it's... Uh, and then there's this sort of donkey donkey jacket you got on that's uh, <laughs> it's a nice it's a nice donkey jacket and they're talking about why has he got neddy on the back <laughs> haven't you got a show to do uh, right now <laughs>